Welcome to YouTube channel Scientific Underscore Math. In this lecture, we will discuss shifted power method and the learning objectives of this lecture are introduction to the shifted power method and then we will solve example using the shifted power method and uh, we will also write a MATLAB code for the shifted power method. Okay, so, so let's start today lecture. Introduction to the uh, shifted power method. The shifted power method or the approach can be used to identify or to find the remaining eigenvalues after the largest or smallest eigenvalue is known. Okay, so the shifted power method uses an important property of matrices and their eigenvalues given that. Okay, yes, we know that when we multiply the matrix with the, the vector. This will give us an eigenvalue and the corresponding eigen vector. If lambda 1 is the smallest or the largest eigenvalue obtained by using the power method or the inverse power method. Okay, so the power method and the inverse power method we have already studied. I will provide the link in video description and also. Uh, the link of uh, lectures MATLAB code for the inverse power method and the power method. Okay, so then the uh, if lambda 1 is the largest or the smallest eigenvalue obtained by using the power method or the inverse power method, then the eigenvalues of a new shifted this is the shifted matrix R. Okay, so the eigenvalues uh, for the shifted matrix will be eigen of A shifted will be equal to lambda 1 minus lambda 1 lambda 2 minus lambda 1 lambda 2 minus lambda 3 minus lambda 1 and up to lambda n minus lambda 1 which is equal to this one these are these will be the eigenvalues of the shifted matrix okay so next this can be easily uh, uh, and this can be seen easily because the eigenvalues of the shifted matrix are found from this equation okay so this is the shifted matrix into the vector okay which is equal to alpha into the matrix this is the shifted eigenvalues and this is the corresponding eigen vector so this will be the equation one and uh, where alphas are the eigenvalues of the shifted matrix this is the shifted matrix and equation one becomes uh, this one how this equation comes by simplifying this equation this by simplifying this equation like that multiply this with this one and after solving this one we have this equation and we know that when we multiply the matrix with this uh, with vector this will give us an eigenvalue and the corresponding eigenvector okay so after solving solving this one we have this equation okay so this means here where lambda is is equal to lambda 1 lambda 2 up to lambda n is an eigenvalues of the matrix a original matrix a therefore the eigenvalues of the shifted matrix alphas will be equal to this one lambda lambda 1 lambda min, min, minus lambda 1 okay so then lambda 2 and then minus lambda 1 lambda similar similarly for lambda 3 minus lambda 1 and up to so on lambda n minus lambda 1 which is equal to this one these will be the eigenvalues of the uh, shifted matrix okay so next the eigenvectors of the shifted matrix this is the shifted matrix are the same as the eigenvector of the original matrix a Okay, here we can see that the this is the eigenvector and this mat this and this vector will be the same as the eigenvector of the original matrix A. Okay, so uh, next week we will see how to calculate the largest or the smallest eigenvalue using the shifted power method. Okay, so the Largest eigenvalue of the shifted matrix becomes will be equal to a k, which is equal to lambda n minus lambda one. And for the smallest eigenvalue of the shifted matrix becomes this one lambda n minus is which is equal to a k plus a k plus lambda one. Okay, 
So this equation for the smallest eigenvalue and this equation for the largest eigenvalue uh, using the uh, shifted power method. Okay. So how we can calculate the smallest or the largest eigenvalue? Okay. So for example, if we want to calculate the largest eigenvalue for the shifted matrix, then this will be the smallest eigenvalue we have already calculated found by using the inverse power method okay so for example if we want to calculate the smallest eigenvalue uh, smallest eigenvalue then smallest eigenvalue then this will be the largest eigenvalue uh, uh, found by we already we found by using the uh, power method okay so next all the other eigenvalues can be determine by repeating this process k minus two times where at each time the shifted matrix k minus lambda of k into i where lambda of lambda k is the eigenvalues obtained from the previous shift okay so this is the uh, inverse power method how we can calculate using the inverse power method smallest eigenvalue largest eigenvalue and the other eigenvalue we will discuss in next lecture and we will solve example using the uh, shifted power method